In this video we will show you the 7 things you really have to know about your Maltese dog. If you don't want to miss this, please watch till the end, like this video, count with us from 7 to 1 and be amazed by this adorable, loving dog breed. Also, we will announce the Maltese of the day later in this video, so make sure to check this and have fun watching the video. 7. You probably cannot resist the wonderful character traits of Maltese dogs. Maltese dogs are typically gentle, loving, obedient, affectionate, smart, and trusting. They are also fun, lively, and very playful even as they get older. Also very important, these dogs adore humans and prefer to always be very close to them. Either right next to you on the couch, cuddling in your lap or cozy in your arms. 6. Besides these character traits, really how cute do these dogs look? Hello! Maltese dogs have cute floppy ears, a compact body with sloping shoulders, and a tufted tail that curls over their back. They are nicely proportioned with a slightly rounded head, a black nose, and brown eyes. Talking about their cute black button nose, did you know that it can turn pink if the dog doesn't get enough sun? The noses of female Maltese dogs can also turn pink when they are in heat. Better keep it cool. 5. Where does the name Maltese dog come from? Yes indeed. This dog breed originated in Malta, which is a small island nation south of Sicily, Italy. Malta was known for its wealth, luxury and sophistication, so this origin story really fits this breed. By the way, Maltese dogs have been highly valued throughout time. In fact, it said that one Maltese dog was sold for the equivalent of $2,000 in the 1500s which of course was a huge amount of money back then. 4. Common Health Issues of Maltese Dogs Maltese are typically healthy, however they are sensitive to some health issues, just like all breeds. Although not all Maltese will contract any or all of these illnesses, it's vital to be aware of them if you're thinking about getting one. Find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your dog's parents if you're buying a puppy. Health clearances demonstrate that a dog has been checked for and cleared of a certain disease. White Dog Shaker Syndrome is a condition that affects mostly white dogs. Symptoms of this illness are, tremors all throughout the body, a lack of coordination, and fast eye movements. This usually begins when the dog is anxious or extremely stimulated, between the ages of 6 months and 3 years. It is a non-painful condition that has no effect on the dog's character. Consult your veterinarian about treatment options if you feel your Maltese has white dog shaker syndrome. Collapse trachea. This is a condition in which the trachea, which transports air to the lungs, collapses when the rings of the tube forming the trachea weaken. A chronic, dry, harsh cough that many people compare to a goose honk is the most prevalent symptom of a collapsed trachea. A trachea that has collapsed would best be addressed medically or surgically. Reverse sneeze, often mistaken for a collapsed trachea, reverse sneezing is a significantly less serious condition that only lasts a few minutes. When your dog is eager or attempts to eat or drink too quickly, he will sneeze backwards. It can also happen when pollen or other allergens are present in the air. What happens is the following. The soft palate in the dog's mouth feels drops of secretion from the nose and as a result it closes over the windpipe in an instinctive reaction. This can feel scary for your Maltese, but the reverse sneezing will stop once he calms down. To help him relax, gently touch his throat. Later in this video we will tell you about how to fit the Maltese dog into your own family. Now, let's go to our favorite part, the Maltese dog of the day. Today we have chosen Lexi from the Netherlands as Maltese of the day. Lexi was born on February 18 in 2021. She loves to cuddle with anyone in her family and enjoys long walks in the neighborhood. What a cutie! Do you also want your Maltese dog to be featured on our next video? Then first, subscribe to our channel and second, write a comment about your Maltese in the comments section below. We will then contact you and maybe we will see your dog next time on this channel as Maltese Dog of the Day. 3. Activity for your Maltese. The Maltese love to go for a walk or play outside on a regular basis. They stay quite playful until long into their senior years. 
it will not take much effort to keep them in shape because they are active indoors and don't require a lot of exercise. As a general guideline, don't take your Maltese puppy for a long walk until he's 8 months old, as his bones are still forming. We would advise you to allow your puppy to play freely in your enclosed yard until he is fully mature, then take him to your veterinarian for a checkup before beginning a structured exercise routine. Please note that the Maltese is a house dog that does not handle excessive heat or cold well. Especially in the sun be careful that your dog does not get sunburned. A fur coat isn't always enough protection from the sun's harmful rays. There are many ways you can help reduce the risk of sunburn for your dog in the summer, including keeping them indoors during the hours when the sun is highest, sticking to shady areas on walks, putting protective clothing on them, and avoiding a full shave of their coat. Now let's move on to the last two important things to know about Maltese dogs. 2. What kind of care does a Maltese need besides lots of love and tenderness? While Maltese dogs don't shed much, they still need to be brushed on a regular basis to keep their coats from matting. They also require grooming every few months and don't forget an occasional bath, perhaps once every two to three weeks unless they find themselves dirty after a long walk in a rainy forest. What we see with Maltese is that tear stains appear under and besides the eyes where the white hairs darken as a result. To avoid this discoloration, it's advised to clean the hair around their eyes every day. To do so, use a soft washcloth or cotton ball. Maltese dogs also may suffer from hair in their ears, which can be solved by a groomer to cut this hair. Because Maltese dogs are prone to dental problems, brushing their teeth on a regular basis is quite important. They should also get their teeth thoroughly inspected and cleaned at least once a year by your veterinarian. To encourage healthy teeth and gums, you can provide your dog with safe chew toys. Chew toys also prevent your dog from chewing on items they shouldn't. Be honest, who doesn't want to keep their furniture clean and undamaged? Now we have come to the last thing you need to know about Maltese. 1. How does a Maltese dog fit into my family? Perhaps you already own a Maltese dog, or plan to get one in the future. In any case it is interesting to find out if the Maltese will fit well in your family at home. Good to know is that Maltese dogs are considered to be hypoallergenic so they make great dogs for adults and children with allergies. Maltese dogs only grow to around 7 to 12 inches in height and weigh about 4 to 8 pounds. The perfect size. Maltese dogs do not own an undercoat and shed very little which is very convenient in your home. You will not find any dog here anywhere in your house. How long do Maltese live? They are expected to live as long as 12 to 15 years with an average age of living up until 13.5 years old. We do must say that it greatly depends on how the dog is taken care of for it to reach a potentially long life. Do you love Maltese dogs as well? Then be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Perhaps you wish to get a dog yourself. Please remember to adopt. Don't shop if you want to bring a dog home. So, which characteristic of the Maltese dog surprised you most? Let us know in the comments section below.